Hi everyone, it's Kevin here. I'm gonna show you guys how to replace a broken return spring on your clutch. So basically it's located just above um, your clutch pedal. So it's just right up in there as you can see it. That's part of it, it's kind of broken. So I'm gonna show you guys how to replace that. So I'm gonna get to it right now. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna need to get two hands in here. It'll probably be a little easier for you because uh, I'm trying to keep the camera here. but gonna get in there and you basically what you gotta do is you gotta get this little clip off so you need to get this return spring off so pair of needle nose pliers kind of push it up out of the way you can kind of flip the broken piece up and it'll just pop out just like that and this one you should be able to just pop it off of the little clip that's right here on the back. So that's all you want to do. So it's just trying to get a hold of it without breaking anything. And again, it'll probably be easier if you're not trying to have a camera sitting there. I'm just going to kind of pull it up out of the way. So you just grab this with a pair of needle nose pliers, pry it out, and you're done. And there's your return springs off. Okay. So again, if you guys got two hands and a camera not in the way, it should be pretty easy for you because it didn't take me very long at all. Now I'll show you what it looks like and we'll put it back in. Okay, so here's what the spring looks like. So that's the broken spring I took out. Basically, as you can see, it snapped right there. And it's so it has a little bit of grease on it and stuff like that all covering it. Here's the new one. Okay, a little sticker made in Canada. Don't see that too much anymore. Um, but here's the new one. So basically, it has no grease on it right now. So what I'm going to do before I reinstall is I'm going to apply a little bit of grease to it. And we'll pop it back in. For anybody who's looking for it, here's the part number for the return spring for your clutch. Okay, so it's 10376347. GM part number. Okay, and it's a cheap part. I think it's like 10 bucks, 15 bucks, somewhere around there. Okay, and I'll get to it. I'll put a little bit of grease on it. And I'll show you how to put it back in. Okay, so now to put the new spring in. Basically what you're going to do is there's two little holes one up on each side so just kind of place it up put that one in and then you're gonna push the spring in and kind of squeeze it in and then just drop the other hole in and that's as simple as it is so now it's in so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna this is where you're gonna need two hands and it'll be a little difficult for me to show you with the camera but you're gonna push the clutch all the way in and just so you know without the return spring your clutch still returns. So anybody who thinks that the return spring is what's going to make your clutch come back, no, it'll come back even without the return spring. It's an assist return spring. So basically what you're going to do, you're going to get a pair of needle nose pliers and you're going to push the clutch all the way in, and which I'm going to try to do without hitting the camera. And then when you have it to the top, you're going to be able to pull the clip into that little notch. Let me see if I can do it with the camera. So you push all the way up. Yeah, I might have to move the camera. But. So you're going to push it all the way up. And you're just going to pull that just over top of it. Let me see if I can do this and put the camera back in a different position. So that's all you have to do is get it over that little clip. Sorry I couldn't show you with the camera there. Uh, the stand and stuff was in my way. And I needed to move it. But after I moved it, it only took like two seconds to pop it on. And that's it. And that's how simple it is to change the return spring on your C6 Corvette. Hope this helps you out. Take care.